Hey, my name is Dan Julio, and I'd like to introduce GCore, a development board designed to be the base for portable gadgets. I have partnered with Group Gets to make it available. GCore includes a set of high end features, including an ultra fast 480 by 320 pixel capacitive touch display, an ESP32 with 16 megabytes of flash and 8 megabytes of PSRAM, and a whole host of other features designed to enable sophisticated devices. It can be programmed using the Arduino environment. The Espressive IDF, or even MicroPython. Libraries and demo code make it easy to get started. The displays on most dev boards are limited by the maximum spy frequency the LCD controller supports, typically less than 40 MHz. GCore includes a dedicated 8 bit parallel LCD interface connected directly to the ESP32 high speed vSPI pins. This allows the display to be driven at the maximum 80 MHz spy frequency. Graphics on G-Core Scream is shown in this demo. The standard Adafruit driver is running on the left G-Core, while my port of Bodmer's fantastic eSpy TFT library runs the same demo on the right. GCore supports the LVGL graphics library for polished user interfaces, like the one on this X calculator. The code for this project is included as an example in the GCore Arduino library. GCore was originally created for TCAM, a thermal imaging camera I designed and have open sourced. TCAM is comprised of a GCore and my TCAM Mini, also available from Group Gets. GCore's fast display and LVGL enable a responsive user interface. The high-speed micro SD card can be used to store either images or videos and play them back. The built-in Wi-Fi allows a camera to connect to apps running on smartphones or desktop computers. Here's a fun demo using Arvind Singh's TGX 3D graphics library. It uses both CPUs and a SparkFun joystick plugged into the quick connector. A 3D mesh is rendered in real time using flat, grow, or texture map shaders with the camera position controlled by the joystick. G-Core is ideal for remote control devices. This demo sketch makes use of an accelerometer to wake up G-Core in a 3D printed case when it is picked up. The sketch finds all the LifeX LED light bulbs on the Wi-Fi network. It then draws an appropriate control for each type of light bulb, one with a color picker for RGB bulbs and another with a color temperature slider for white bulbs. Dual touch capability is used in the demo to control a tank based on the ubiquitous ESP32 CAM module. Two sliders control the tank motors. The camera's MJPEG stream is decoded and displayed on G-Core.
Short press detection on G-Core's power button is used to control the tank's headlight while still retaining the ability to turn G-Core off with a long press. I hope you've gotten a sense of what G-Core can do. Thanks for watching. Lots of links in the description below to explore further.